right, we are back. We are back at it again with another car vlog. It's been some time, but uh, I think it's time we officially talk about what I plan to do to this car because I have so many plans. I had so many plans. I just, I just, you know, I want to, I want to chat. I want to talk about things I'm 100% planning to do to my 2015 Civic Si and some things that are kind of left up in the air now because uh, I'm undecided. So I'm not gonna sit here and waste your time with opening fluff. I wanna get right into it and I wanna talk about the skunk in the room because I mentioned it in the past and that is if I planned a turbo, the Civic. Because my original plans, believe it or not, was to buy the PRL turbo kit, turbo this car and then build the bottom end to hopefully push roughly around 500 wheel horsepower in this car. I think it'd be a really fun car to drive with 500 wheel horsepower. Um, but now that I've had the car for a little over a year, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's something I'm willing to do to this car because at the end of the day, it's still a Civic. And I also love NA and I also love superchargers, but I also love Lamborghinis and I really want a Huracan. Yeah, I said it. I came out. I want to get a Huracan. So it's kind of like, do I really drop all this money, thousands and thousands of dollars into this car just to make it go fast? And that's not even including everything else I want to do. That's just for the turbo kit and for go for go fast parts. So I think, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do regarding the turbo. That's kind of the skunk in the air. That's kind of the not sure if I'm going to still do what I want to do. Uh, so I wanted to get that out of the way first before I talk about things that I definitely still want to do. And that is, number one, I still need to lower this car. I want to buy some coilovers. This car, stock height, it looks ridiculous. If I lower this car, even on the stock wheels, the car just looks that much better. It looks that much more aggressive. And uh, it, this car needs to get lowered. So yes, I still plan to lower the car. I plan to go coilovers. I want K-Sport coilovers. I think like the Pro Street or... I don't know, they're around like 900 bucks. I hear nothing but good things for the price of those coilovers. So I want to get some coilovers. And that kind of leads me into the next thing because I mentioned wheels, even on stock wheels, this car lowered, it looks better. I want to get wheels, man. I, I want to upgrade the stock wheels. I'm not a fan of the, the stock wheels at all. I think they're actually kind of ugly. And I have a set of wheels I've already picked out. They're from Cosmos Racing. I'll pop them up here on the screen. I think that color on the white would just, ooh, it would just look fantastic with the car lowered. Ah, man, I want to do that. Those are about a grand as well. So if I lower the car, get wheels, without tires, I'm already looking at close to $2,000. And then I still got to get tires. Yeah, you can see where I'm heading. Cars are expensive. And if I was going to turbo this on top of everything I still want to do, I don't know if it's worth it at that point. The third thing I really want to do because I have a white car, I've always been a huge fan of carbon fiber. And I think carbon fiber on black doesn't look the best. It's hard to see it. And I've always had black cars for the most part. So now that I have a white car, I want to carbon fiber all the things. I want to get carbon fiber for everything. I want a carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber uh, front um, fenders. I can't even speak. I want, I want. I want to carbon fiber all the things in this car because I think it was, it's just the contrast. Uh, ooh, it would look great. But the problem with carbon fiber, there's two problems. I live in Pennsylvania, which means in the winter, I either can't drive the car or I got to take off all the carbon fiber and put uh, everything back to stock when it comes to looks because carbon fiber and cold, they don't mix. Talk about spider crack of the eternity. You just get spider cracks everywhere and you'll be tossing money out the window. So I want to carbon fiber everything. And uh, I don't want to do that though until I lower it by wheels because if I carbon fiber things and get like a front lip and all that stuff on a stock height car or stock wheels, I'm going to look pretty freaking silly. Last but not least, I want to get the RBC intake manifold because the one that comes on the 9th gen Civic SIs on the K24, they're plastic and uh, the airflow is just terrible. So even if, if I decide to turbo the car, let's say that is the plan and that is the route I'm going to take, I'm still going to need to get an RBC intake manifold. 
it's so much better for the engine and even if I don't turbo the car I still want to get it to boost the mid power up ever so slightly uh, and I'd, I'll be able to hear the engine just that gurgle of the, the K-series a lot better I want to get an intake manifold those are actually relatively cheap I can get them for like $300 uh, the problem is if I get that I need to put the car back on the dyno I can go with my guy down in uh, Harrisburg Pennsylvania Innovative Motor Works and he'll retune my car for a couple hundred dollars you know because I, I went to him previously for the initial tune uh, so I'm looking at around $500 total that's actually pretty affordable uh, so that that is definitely on the to-do list but outside of that I honestly don't have many plans for the car because, uh, well, I mean, what more do you do after that? Even if I do turbo it and I push for that power, what else is there to do, you know? I made the car look nice. I lowered it, put wheels on it, carbon fiber accented everything. You know, what else do I do? I can get interior stuff, but uh, right now, I, this isn't a car I plan to keep on for many, many years. I don't plan to keep this car for many, many years is what I really mean to say. So it's like why spend all that money for the interior even if i do turbo the car because i'll probably end up selling it anyway so there you guys go thank you guys so much for watching today's car vlog it's a little update on what i plan to do to my 2015 civic si hope you enjoyed it what do you want to see me do on this car because if i get these parts i'll probably end up doing install videos uh to, to, for the things that i'm able to do uh, i don't think i have the knowledge to install a turbo kit and even if i did i don't have all the tools to uh to install the turbo kit but like lowering you know coilovers putting wheels on all that good stuff uh i could definitely do that so what do you want to see me do to this car let me know down below in the comments and uh i'll see you in the next video peace